I want to bring up a question on quantity of heat. And I'll be teaching how to calculate the latent heat of vaporization of water. Of vaporization. It should be known that latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat required to convert a unit mass of from liquid to gaseous state at a constant temperature. Therefore, we know very well that <coughs> a certain liquid will require an amount of heat so that it might convert from being liquid to a gas. And that one we call it a change of state which happens at a constant temperature. Therefore, latent heat of vaporization is a certain amount of heat which is absorbed by a liquid so that it may change from its state of liquid to vapor or gas. The same same amount of heat called latent heat of vaporization is also given out by the same same liquid or by the same same gas when converting to liquid. And in such case, we call it the latent heat the latent heat of vaporization. Latent heat of vaporization. Whereby we say, as a liquid changes to gas, the amount of heat it absorbs will be equal to the same amount of heat which the same liquid will need as a gas to come back to a liquid. Therefore, according to this question here, we are told that a copper calorimeter of mass 60 grams is filled with 100 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius. So, calorimeter and water are at 25 degrees Celsius. Then we are told the steam, which is water in gaseous form, is passed through the water until a temperature of 45 degrees is attained. Then the final mass of the calorimeter and the condensate is found to be 163.5 grams. This means that a steam passed part of it condensed, part of it condensed, and we are saying that when the steam condenses to water, it releases what we call in latent heat of vaporization. After releasing latent heat of vaporization, this steam will still be at 100 degrees Celsius, a constant temperature. Therefore, from that constant temperature, the steam again loses temperature until... Therefore, in this case, we are going to have heat lost by steam, first of all, to condense to water. Then after condensing to water, in liquid form, it loses heat again until it reaches 45. Therefore, that heat which has been lost by steam, and the water to cool from 100 to 45 is the same same amount of it being absorbed by calorimeter and the water which are at 25 until they raise to 45 degrees Celsius. Therefore, in this case, we can argue that it absorbed by calorimeter and the water, the water inside the calorimeter will be the same as the heat energy the heat energy which will be lost or released by steam first of all to condense to water and the water so that the water might cool down until 45 degrees celsius therefore in this case we can get the steam which condensed the steam which condensed because initially we have 160 and finally we are finding 163, then 3.5 grams of steam condensed in this case. Therefore, the mass of steam will be 3.5 grams. So in this case, we can talk of heat absorbed by copper calorimeter. So the copper calorimeter is having a mass of 60, which we can divide by 1,000 to make it as a unit. Mass times specific heat capacity of this copper calorimeter which is 378 
multiplied by change in temper leaving from up to 45 that will be 20 plus the heat gained by water the water in the calorimeter is 100 degrees celsius 100 grams which is kilograms when divided by thousands multiplied by specific heat capacity of water 4200 multiplied by change in temperature they were at the same temperature with the copper calorimeter which is from 25 up to 45 so that amount of heat which will be gained by both calorimeter and the water so that they may reach from 25 to 45 will be the same amount of heat which will be lost by steam therefore as the steam condenses to water it is going to lose what we call latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization is given by mass which is 3.5 divided by a thousand remember 3.5 is grams multiplied by the unknown latent heat of vaporization at a constant temperature so that it may become water in liquid form then after becoming water in liquid form the 3.5 again grams they lose its specific heat capacity for 200 until they drop until it drops from 100 degrees Celsius up to the common temperature of 45, which means through 55 degrees. Therefore, now we can obtain this value of flattened heat of vaporization, whereby we can check here and see that the 60 by 378 by 20, then we divide everything by a thousand. This becomes 453.6 plus the other side. Can have this three zero zeros cancelling. 420 times 20. 420 times 20. And this will give us 8400 equals to equals to 3.5 times 10 power negative 3 plus 3.5 multiplied by can have two zeros cancelling here and this becomes 4.2 times 4.2 808.5. So grouping like terms together, we can print 805 to this side, and we will have 453 46 plus 8400 minus 808.5, giving us 80.1 equals 3.5 times 10 power negative 0 latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization therefore we can multiply this with a thousand then we divide with 3.5 3.5 and this will give us a value of latent heat of vaporization as 2 million 298,600. This will be joules per kilogram. Joules per kilogram. So that is the amount of heat energy which is required by every kilogram of water so that it may condense from steam to water or required by water that may vaporize from water to steam. So thank you very much for following up with the lesson. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share the link. Thank you.